Well, Team USA's run to win the World Cup came to an end today after losing to the Netherlands. In round 16, the team fell short 1-3, to three, but that doesn't seem to be keeping fans from looking forward to the future. Well, News Charles Samantha Cheney attended a watch party today and has more on the super fans who say they're just happy to see more Americans watching the sport. Quite a scene there. For Team USA fans, today's game went a lot like this, this, and ultimately this. The first time Andy Bahania experienced that roller coaster of emotions, he says he was just a kid in school. He called me almost crying to tell me that um, U.S. scored against, uh, against Ghana. And it's a ride he hasn't gotten off since. So at a young age, I knew I want to help make a difference in the world and make Americans care as much about soccer as other countries do. Like the Netherlands. This is our national pride, you know, like football is what we do. So to grow the game just as big here in America, Andy and the Team USA support group American Outlaws invited Bronxites to Yankee Tavern today to watch. This is uh, by far the pinnacle for every U.S. soccer fan. It's the Super Bowl of soccer, if you will. And they say if you train them young, Team USA could have the best fan base in the world. I feel like that's something that I would really want. That, that should be around here and, you know, everywhere around the world. Although today's game didn't end with the win that these super fans were hoping for, Bahania tells me that when the World Cup is hosted in the United States in 2026, he has faith that Team USA will be champions. In West Concourse, Samantha Cheney, News 12.